Good afternoon. Today I am doing the Joshua's Trust properties of Mansfield Center and I'm starting with the Bradley Buchanan Woods. Let's check it out. The property is 25 acres that was purchased with the help of a loan from the Nature Conservancy in 1970. It was previously owned by the Buchanan family for three generations. Uh, there was an Archibald Buchanan and a Wesley Brady who sold the property to Joshua's Trust despite high bidders from developers. The Bradley Buchanan Woods are a great example of a came terrace. A came terrace is where glacial meltwater is deposited sand and gravel. In this location also a number of kettle ponds. There's a kettle pond. Over there's a kettle pond. There's a kettle pond. Unfortunately, they all seem to be dry because of the recent drought. Here's a kettle marsh. Disclaimer, I don't know if that's a real thing. And it's important because these came terraces are prime sources of gravel. So many have been dug out and therefore lost. This one, thankfully, has been preserved. Mark tells me that from here we are leaving the Bradley Buchanan Woods and are entering Echo Woods. Echo Woods is actually owned by the state of Connecticut. It was previously owned by Joshua's Trust but is now considered an extension of Mansfield Hollow. I don't have as much information about this place because it's not technically Joshua's Trust although it's listed on their website but I will say that it's one of those nice soft pine trails where you're walking on nothing but needles. If I had to guess, I'd say there's a mile or so of trails, and instead of the yellow blaze, we have the white. And using clues of the yellow, we take a side trail to Echo Lake Beach, a 3.4 acre property, and check out the view. swimming dock but not so nice swimming conditions. From here we hike on to the pond lot which is a 10 acre property donated by Betsy and Hugh Hamill in 1987. It's great to be able to connect all these properties into one. It really shows the potential of greenways. the trail we reach the road and the alternate entrance with the sign for the pond lot and the trail is the Hugh Hamill Jr. Memorial Trail. From here we retrace our steps back through the pond lot and then through Echo Beach through Echo Woods. And back to Bradley Buchanan. Pretty nice. My next stop is the Holt Kinney Woods, which is a trail off Schoolhouse Brook Park. This is the alternate entrance to the Holt Trail on Browns Road. 
The Holt Kinney Woods are 21 acres donated by Catherine and Hamilton Holt. The land was given to Catherine by her parents and was then donated to the trust. The area was known locally as Six Acre Meadow. It also lives up to its name. Holt is an old English word for wooded hill. Here we pass through the mysterious double stone wall. It extends off in both directions. So I've walked up and down this section of the bird loop trying to find the Babcock Trail, but there doesn't seem to be any marked trail. So aside from these aside from these boundary signs, I can't find the I can't find the actual trail that leads through the Babcock Preserve. I did take one unmarked trail. that seemed to lead into somebody's backyard, so so that didn't really seem right. And I did walk into the woods a little bit past some boundary signs, so I probably was technically on the property, but I guess I'll have to uh, head back. But before I do, I can tell you that the land was donated in 1985 by Harriet E. Babcock, who was a long time resident of Mansfield in the Spring Hill section. She was a member of both Joshua's Trust and the Mansfield Historical Society. And the property is 10 acres. That does it for the Joshua's Trust properties of Mansfield Center. See you next time. I don't know if you can see it, but I just walked into a spider web, so I've got a cool spiderweb pattern on my sunglasses.